you made it through the first level of what? <laughs> I don't know what that. Congratulations, you clicked on a link that you had no idea what it was going to lead you to. I mean, it was on our channel, so it was probably about board games, but you didn't know exactly what it was gonna be about. You passed the first test. Yeah, thank you for your blind trust in us. There will be many other tests along the way, and that's kind of the theme of what we're talking about here today. And it's a new game that we're kind of teasing and talking about a little bit. Yeah, the new game we're talking about is Omega Virus, if you yeah. haven't heard already. That's Restoration's next big restoration. We don't know much about it. But it's Omega Virus. But it's Omega Virus. And I was a huge Omega Virus fan back in the day. In fact, when I was a kid, that was one of those board games that kind of blurred the lines of like family style board oh, games yeah. to more of like what the hobby games are that you'd see today. Well, it just had a high cool factor. Like It did. Have I will go back cool a little factor. further. So Dark Tower was sort of my jam, but I think Omega Virus was the Dark Tower of its generation. Yeah, like the 90s, like that game had everything. Yeah, so sadly, we're not playing that Omega Virus today, but happily, we are playing Omega Virus Prologue. This is a little two-player card game that they put out. And honestly, I think they mostly put this out to promote the fact that Omega Virus is their next big game, but the game itself, actually kind of a little, little fun game. Yeah, there's a lot to this package uh, that is meant to tease what you're going to see in the uh, actual Omega Virus. Not in actual gameplay, yeah. but there's just a lot of hidden, hidden stuff within these cards and some of the things that come included in the box. So it's really neat to, to actually open this and see how this game plays. All of that is just to tease a little bit about what the game is gonna be like thematically. So this is a game we're gonna, like David said, talk about a little bit and play a little bit so you can get a taste for it. See if this is something that would interest you because this game will be available at Gen Con. Yeah, it's gonna be at Gen Con. I think they're gonna make it available direct. Uh, but my hunch would be that this might be a limited quantity sort of thing. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be one of those limited collector's items. If you're a big Omega Virus fan or a big Restoration Games fan, you're probably going to want this. But let us show you how it plays so you can make that decision on your own. The idea here is that we're building out a space uh, station, basically, kind of like Omega Virus. And we have some locked rooms that we have to unlock in order to escape. And to escape, we have to basically fix our ship by combining certain elements that you'll see as we play our cards out in front of us. But there are three keys that we need to find. The red key, the yellow key, and the blue key. And they correspond to some locked doors that we're gonna have in our decks. You can never play a locked door if you don't already have the key. And to get the key, you have to make a very specific pattern of colored shapes that match the key color. So you need this little T to be all red. That's the real challenge of the game because it's happening in real time. David and I are gonna be flipping cards from the top of our decks, trying to make these patterns to unlock the keys. The neat thing here is that you can scoop up your cards at any time and put them on the bottom of your deck. So you can kind of start over fresh if you've gotten into a sticky situation or if you've covered up one of those important pieces that you need to win. Each round, you're gonna be scoring three unique things. We're scoring rooms that are at least three spaces big. Yep. We're scoring for the whoever has the largest room and also whoever has the largest blue room, so. Yeah, and there's also sort of an end game objective here. As you can see, each color is gonna have a symbol on one or two of the cards, actually. You're going to wanna connect those like symbols, and once one player has connected all three of those symbols, Yep, it's game over. That's going to be the round over. The game is normally played in three rounds. We're just going to give you one round today just to give you a flavor for what this thing is like. Yeah, and it's real time. So once we start, we start. And the key thing to remember, you can only ever play your black and white rooms until you get your keys. Then you can start playing the colored rooms as well. So, so what's be... your strategy here, Ryan? Well, Are you going to try to get I'm, the keys first? I, I, I am. I think I'm going to just zoom in through the keys. But I also want to kind of focus on getting... If, if, if your largest room could also be your blue room, then you get two of those. Yeah, and it's interesting too because you are scoring points. If you finish it, it's not a race necessarily. But you because get points if you finish you first. You will get a point in the first round, two in the second, and three in the third for finishing first. But there's some real points to be scored here with these cards as well. All right, well, are you ready? I think I'm ready. I'm going to give my cards one last shuffle because I don't want to start with one of those key cards on top. Yeah? Nope, like that. Well, I started with, I have a lock on top, but when you get a lock, you just put it on the bottom of your deck and you keep going. All right, and we are gonna try to play out here where you can yeah, see, but right in this area. no guarantees. All right, you ready? 
Let's go. All right. All right. Uh, the pressure's on. Key. So the, the locks you just put to the bottom of your deck, right? Yeah, if you can't play them. Um, Got the blue key? Oh, you do. Yeah, I don't know if that really... What am I trying to do? I got the yellow key. Well, I guess I'll take mine. Um, I forget what the red room is supposed to look like. A little T. Oh, I do have the blue key. All right, I'm going to place this here to get the red key. I'm going to scoop it back because I need that one. I got the blue and the red keys, David. Oh man, this gets, it's a little frantic. Uh, it's very frantic. I'm gonna place this there for my red key. Oh, excellent. I got Let. the yellow key. I got all three keys. What? I have all three keys. Uh, where's the blue? Oh, blue is that little shape. Oh. I'm running out of space here. Are you? Uh, did I get the blue? I did get the blue. Okay, now we're just off to the races. I finished. I had one card left. Now see, here's I the finished. interesting thing. I oh, finished. I was so close. I finished, and of course, I've also encroached on, on yeah, the board I area. I see that. Uh, well, here, make some space for yourself. But let's move let's, all this down. Yeah, move oh, it down wow, a little look at bit. that. That's pretty impressive. Uh, so I finished, but I was not paying any attention whatsoever to these goals so we'll see how the points shake out uh but i get the speed bonus which you definitely is one get the point. speed bonus and so then what's the top one most rooms that are three so oh. let's see i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten rooms that are three or, or bigger i have just six all right so i get a point so you get that one the next one largest room my largest room, I believe, is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm sorry, it's eight. It's oh, well, you've got that in spades then, because I- You don't have a room that's eight? Not even close. My biggest room is uh, six. All right. And then I have, uh, my, my blue room is my biggest room, which is also eight. Well, there you go. See, Look it's exactly that. what I expected. <laughs> I finished, I get so focused on wanting to connect these things here, uh, which is fun. And once you get those keys out of the way, you just, you're kind of off to the races. Yeah, you really, but you still want to focus on, on uh, getting those in-game points. For sure. Too. Now, we played this the other day, too, and this is how the first round ended well, as well. Yeah. But then, did you end up winning or did no, I? No, you ended up winning because the speed bonuses, it adds oh. up. To, I mean, if you get all three speed bonuses, that's six points. Yes, that's true. And you just got three and there. I only, and I got three here. So as long as I can grab a couple of those right. along the way. It's three rounds, three scoring cards around. So there's only nine points total. So if I won every one of those, I would have nine points. And if you got every speed bonus, you'd have six. So you need to win the speed bonus and keep me from winning a couple of those other ones. Yeah, so as you can see, and we wanted to play this for you really fast today. We're not going to play another round or two mm -hmm. because it's a lot of resetting up. Uh, but like we said, this is going to be available at Gen Con. Uh, I mentioned this to Ryan the other day. This is one of those games I just imagine in my head when you're at Gen Con and there's people taking a break, sitting on the yeah, floor. playing at a restaurant. This is one of those of games space. that you can uh, break play out at a and coffee play. shop. I mean, it, it doesn't take up a lot of space. I mean, you could build as big as you want. but And obviously, like we said at the top, this is not representative of what they're doing with Omega Virus. That is going to be, from what I've told, another big electronic Oh, I'm sure Fanfare it is. Fanfare of a game. But the idea here, like, of being on the space station, unlocking yeah. codes, matching up these parts to, to power yourself, like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm done. I've, oh, I always love creative marketing, which is effectively what this is, and it kind of blurs the line between marketing and actually a game. And oftentimes when people do that sort of thing, the game is not great. Yeah, but I have full faith in restoration. I mean, they have not let us down yeah. at all. Their restorations have all been exciting, so I'm I'm super pumped for Omega Virus. I know people out there have been asking for this for a long time, and if you're an Omega Virus fan, you don't want to pass on getting Prolog if you can. Yeah, and if you have any questions about this at all, too bad because we probably don't have the I don't answers. Have, yeah, to them. we have no we have no inside knowledge. We were just this just showed up and they said there's an Omega Virus coming. Yeah, literally they they told us something was coming, but they didn't tell us what it was coming. And then I opened the box and I'm like, oh boy, this uh -huh. is cool. 
So that's the first we heard about it, and that was just really just a couple days yeah, ago. It was. Um, so if you do have any questions, you can feel free to ask them. We'll try our best to answer them, but don't hold your breath. Until next time, make sure everyone has fun at the table, and we'll see you then.